On this video, we're going to take a look at self-belief and confidence. So hi, I'm Lucy. I'm a holistic peak performance coach. And if self-belief and confidence are things that you lack or things that you want to get more of, which I know a lot of people, especially if you're a woman and you're coming out of a certain stage of your life and you're looking to go into a new chapter of your life. You might not have been in work for a time and you want to get back into the workplace or you might have been in the workplace for a long time, but you want to do something that is your thing. You want to become an entrepreneur. You want to you've got that dream on your heart. You've had that dream in your head for too long and now is the time to make a change, but you don't really have the self-confidence to move forward with that. And you probably need a little bit of a boost and a bit of understanding as to how can I change these things? How can I level up my self-belief? How can I level up my confidence? So we're going to have a real quick deep dive into this right now. And you'll see I've got a whiteboard behind me with some arrows on it, but no words. Oh, there we go. No words. So we're going to fill in the gaps. And the very first thing is that people say, well, you need to start to think differently. Or you need to start to believe something different. Well, yes, but where does it come from? Where do our actions come from? Where do our thoughts come from? Where do our expectations come from? They all go back to the beliefs that we have built up over time. And the beliefs that we've built up over time may be telling us, I can't do that thing because I've tried that before. Or I can't do that because I haven't done it for a long time and everything's changed out there in the workplace. Everything's changed in the 15 years that I've been a stay-at-home mum or a stay-at-home dad. And how can I do those things now? I'm not really sure. So one of the very first things to understand is this cycle that I'm just going to explain. And you may well have heard me explain this in a different way before, but it's important, it's very important to understand it. So I like to explain things in different ways. So the very first thing is that you have beliefs, right? So you'll know what your beliefs are. They're yours. They're your beliefs and they've come from experiences. They've come from things that other people have said. And sometimes you think if you realize what your beliefs are, and here's an exercise for you to do, is to write down some core beliefs that you have about yourself and about your ability and about your skills. Because actually you might find that they turn out to be other people's beliefs about you and your skills and your ability, but not actually yours. They have put that on to you and you've gone, oh, oh, is that what I can do? Is that what I can't do? Is that the level that I'm going to stay at? But it's their belief and it's, somehow it's attached to you and you want to be able to get rid of that belief and to start to change it. So you've had influences in your life and influencers in your life. So So influencers and influencers. And that believes them to the, what you're going to expect. If somebody's told you you're going to fail, then you expect to fail. If somebody, actually, if somebody's told you you can't do something or too many people have told you you can't, you don't even take any action to do it. So you've got expectations. And remember, they can be yours or other people's. And then you've got those influences again. That's influencing you to what you're going to do, your behaviors. Right. So now you've got your beliefs. Influencing your expectations, influencing your behaviors. That's all fine as long as they're good. But when we know that the self-confidence isn't there and it needs boosting, that's where we need to take a look at 
what you're actually going to be doing. So, so your behaviours, you could also call those your actions. And these are going to lead to your results. So where do you start? Do you start with your beliefs? Do you go, oh, I need to change my belief? That's quite tricky. If that is an ingrained belief, understanding what the belief is, is a good start. But it's the expectations and then it's that action. It's the one at the bottom here. It's the what your behaviors are going to be, what your actions are going to be that are going to change your results because they're going to be different actions. And when you change the results, guess what? You now have a different belief because if those results are like, oh, maybe I can do this. That's a, that's a good result. People are liking that. Then your belief starts to change. And when your belief starts to change, you can do more. And so now you'll be an influence and you're influencing yourself in a really good way. And that cycle begins to be an upward cycle instead of a downward spiral. So the place to start is at here. with the behaviors and when you are taking action in a different way then you're going to get different results so here's one thing you can start doing and it's one thing that is possibly holding you back so apart from all of this one in fact two words it's one thing but two words and that is i hope oh i hope to be an entrepreneur one day I hope to get a better boss. I hope to have a raise. I hope to, what are you hoping? What are the things you're saying I hope to? Again, if you can write a list of those things, then you're going to be well on your way to understanding that that is actually diminishing your returns on what you want. So what can you replace that word hope with? Instead of I hope, what can you say instead that's going to bring you these kind of results that are different, that are changing? Because when we start with the outward and we understand what is going on on the inside, we'll catch ourselves. So when you can go, I'm outwardly saying, oh, I hope that happens. Catch yourself in the moment and change it to, I know that's going to happen. When you catch yourself saying, oh, well, I hope to get a raise this year, catch yourself. I know I'm going to get a raise this year. And feel the physiology, feel your physiology literally changing when you say, I know, I know I can do the thing. I know I can change people's lives. I know I'm a great coach. I know I can make my dreams a reality. I know with the support and with the love and with the guidance of this person that I'm going to achieve all of those things on my vision board. What is the difference between I hope and I know? Absolute huge chasms. So change the way you're speaking. Change those two little words. In fact, you're only changing one little word, but it's the phrase of I hope that to I know that. I know I. I know it is. I know. Get I hope out the way. Drop that and catch yourself saying it out there in the world. Bring it back in. Change it. And then I know. So I'm going to see you on the next video that's coming up on screen. Let me know if I can help by booking a call and we can have a little call together and make some inquiries about how I help people, how I help especially women to transition from one chapter to the next chapter of their lives. Have the most awesome day and I will see you soon.